Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day or night. So not long ago there was a Sephora haul. I had the intention of going in and buying one thing, except I ended up buying a couple of things. I went into the store. I went into the store and I wanted to buy something from the Minnie Mouse collection, but there were so many people that I ended up just like forgetting about it and going home and doing it online. I had a couple of problems with Sephora, but their customer service is super good and it got fixed super fast and it wasn't much of a hassle, but I came back with more than my Minnie Mouse collection. So I thought I'd show you guys what I purchased online. So let's get this started. So I have the box right here and we'll just be picking things at random. So first thing, the receipt. And we'll just put that over there. And the first thing I have is the Glam Glow um, Hollywood California Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And I had to buy a another one of these because I ran out of the first one I had. I had it for a very long time. So I just needed to make a repurchase of this. I got tired of holding the box on my legs, so I just ended up putting it right here on my table. And the next thing I have is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Lip Saver Treatment Primer. And just looks like this. This is from the new Tarte Collection, and I really like their new um, Rainforest Collection. I have the eyeliner, the So Fine, and now I have this. I used it a couple of times. Except if you put too much, your lips end up being white. I did that the first time when shopping and someone commented that my lips looked weird. I realized it's because it looked so greasy and kind of like like dead white. So don't put too much. Don't make that mistake like I did. Next thing in this treasure box is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in number one. And I feel that everyone talks about the translucent powder and the bigger size translucent powder, but they use it basically for brightening. And this little guy right here does exactly it. It brightens your face and you just have to put it exactly right on top of the cheekbones and you got it. And plus it's, I think it's half the price of the translucent powder. So I really like this. I think that people should give a shout out to this little guy because it doesn't get enough credit. And on to the main reason that I actually purchased something from Sephora was because of this right here. This is the Minnie Mouse collection that recently came out from Sephora. I think it's super cute, super adorable. Even the box is really cute. It has every detail of Minnie Mouse and stripes and just what it looks in the back. But this is the eyeshadow uh, Minnie Mouse palette. I'll open it for you guys. So when you open it, it just looks like this. It's a really cute looking clutch like purse and you open it, it just looks like this. Super cute, colors are super pigmented and it has a Minnie Mouse mirror. It just says Minnie Mouse right here. I thought because it had like this little opening uh, lifting knob that there was something under it, but turns out there isn't. Same thing for here. I thought you could just pop it out and something in the back. Turns out there isn't, but it's still really cute. Colors are really pigmented, very good for that. Very nice colors for summer. And you got the names like Miss Minnie Mouse, Miss Minnie, um, Big Shoes to Fill, Pick Me Up at Eight, um, Whoopie Party, Be My Bow, Puppy Love, Yo Ho, Flirt and Skirt. So, and there's even one that says Hello Mickey, so that's really cute. So all these colors are great for summer, great to use. And the great thing about it, like I said, is really pigmented. And when you close it, it has the Minnie Mouse kind of, the Minnie Mouse, um, what do you call it, keychain? I would say a keychain or kind of like a charm chain. And it is kind of bulky, so can't really like do much with it, but it is very cute. So what do we have next? Oh, we have the Sephora Pro Contour Blender, and this brush is in the number 77. It's the actual actual um, Sephora brand right here. And if you open the protective cl cl cleanse cl case, um, the brush just looks like this. It has the really uh, really high curve, as you guys can see, and the brush, the brush, the bristles just looks like this. And just so you guys know, they did not send me a dirty one. Um, I've been using it, and it was used by moi, so. Along with buying something from the Minnie Mouse collection, you got the Minnie Mouse tote bag. And it just looks like this. Um, it's kind of small. looks really cute, though. But I think it's something I'd be using for the beach or maybe go grocery shopping with. Not sure, but it just looks like this. Really cute. has Minnie Mouse right here, the Minnie Mouse, and the, I think it's a Sephora somewhere. Oh, yeah, by Sephora collection. And it has the little colors, the polka dots, 
back is just white, so it's just a one-sided type thing. Very cute, though. Also from the Minnie Mouse collection, I really wanted the compact mirror, um, the Minnie Mouse compact mirror, but it was a bit of a splurge I found. I found that I splurged on the eyeshadow palette, 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 palette. So um, I decided it was like not going to splurge again because I did want to get the Alice in Wonderland um, Urban Decay palette that's coming out really soon. So I did not get the compact mirror, but my boyfriend Eric, um, he found out, well, I guess he knew that I really wanted the compact mirror. So he got me the Minnie Mouse compact mirror. So thank you for that. And it is so cute. It just looks like this. The box is exactly the same one as the eyeshadow palette. And ugh. so when you open it, it just looks like this. You have the compact um, mirror that has that forms the shape of the ears. So when you pop it off, it just looks like this. And it has, woo, sorry for the shine, guys. But it just says um, XOXO Mini, just like the eyeshadow palette on the mirror. Close it. You have the Minnie Mouse ear on one side. That's a Sephora. And the other side of the Minnie Mouse ear is like this. And when you open it, you got the Minnie Mouse ears and bow, so super cute. I find it's a bit heavy for a compact mirror, but I still really like it. I wish there was kind of like a, kind of like a metal thing, you know, to close it instead, just to make sure it's secured. And there's like a little opening to make it easier um, for your fingers to lift, but it's still really cute. And I'm just afraid that, uh, that it doesn't close properly, because as you guys can see on the side, it's like an opening a bit, like... On both sides but very cute just a little heavy like I said and also in the box it comes with this little travel case right here gold and black it also has the Minnie Mouse um, charm or chain whatever you want to call it and it just looks like this inside so you can just put the mirror inside like this and close it and bring it wherever you go I'm sorry if you guys can hear the music my neighbor is actually putting music really loudly um, I think he's outside but sorry for that but yeah it's really cute i love it so thank you eric so you guys know how sephora works right you order online you can get like three free samples so i got the Too faced eyeshadow insurance anti-crease eyeshadow reminder and it's like enough for i think like one use it's like literally i hate these like sample packages the murad project um hydro dynamic ultra moisture and i think it's like again one use for your face it's like really nothing and i also got the chance to get the sd lot uh, the sd edit by estee lauder is flash photo gloss it looks like this i actually tried it and i don't find it that great um it looks like this and the gloss is really nice i have it on me right now so um i don't find it that great i find the actual uh, formula of it is kind of heavy and drying and very sticky and I really don't like lip glosses that are super sticky. So that was everything I purchased from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini haul and if you did click subscribe. No, that's a thumbs up. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you are seeing my face for the first time, click subscribe to not miss any more of my future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Guys, meet Loki and Loki meet everyone on YouTube. What are you doing? That's not very polite.